This is Kicks Country TV. More from the Kicks Country Video Vault. Brian McMillan, of course, is with. Well, you you tell us. You've got uh, you've got one paper, and you're about to have another one. What's the what's the big news, man? Yeah, we are. Uh, I mean, people are probably familiar with the Palm Coast Observer. It's been on their driveways. Uh, well, not the same issue, but it's been on their driveways for the last two years in uh, Palm Coast. And starting in September, we're going to be launching paper number two, which is the Ormond Beach Observer. Uh, so it won't really, you know, people won't really see it up here, but uh, that's what the company is doing. And and uh, we hired a couple of people to fill in spots and and uh they're they're having they're having a lot of success getting advertisers down there so it's pretty exciting you know it's kind of cool because uh brand new radio station for us today and we had uh, mayor john nets in earlier today from palm coast and and he was uh, saying there were some pretty good numbers in terms of tax revenue uh, you know uh, for the for the city and and so things hopefully are picking up a little bit and it's nice that uh, both you guys and us are celebrating the the launch of some some new extensions of the business here with Kicks Country and uh, and Ormond Beach for you guys. Yeah, very much so. I mean, we we've, we've watched. Uh, it, I mean, you, the the radio station was here before we were, but we've watched you guys grow at the same time, and it's it's been really cool. We've had a good relationship with the with the station. I go on every you know free for all Fridays, and that's been a really cool thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's been great. It's cool to have you know we went from no radio station, no newspaper for quite a while up until. You know, two three years ago, and it's almost like it's a real, as, real as city. We say, as we say in the country format, we're well, in big time now. <laughs> Get her done. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. We appreciate you coming by to kind of celebrate uh, our birthday party today as we start the new radio station. And I guess we were talking off mic before we went on the air here that uh, we're going to have a little more in depth conversation, and there's a chance that I may end up in one of your papers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We want to interview you, so I'll be grilling you <laughs> off the air. I guess I'm going to have to get out of the orange jumpsuit for the picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brian McMillan, we appreciate you coming by. Any other news with uh, with the observers you want to tell us about? When's the launch for the uh, for the new papers again? September 6th is uh, Ormond Beach. I mean, just one thing for today. Uh, if you haven't seen the paper today, you can pick up the election guide. Um, if you I, I actually, as I was driving down US one, I counted forty nine signs just at the wow. US one and Palm Coast Parkway um, <laughs> intersection. So forty nine signs. If you're feeling a little overwhelmed, like I don't know, I, I know I should vote, but I really don't know who to vote for, who's in what race. You can pick up the Observer today, and you can, there's a twenty page election guide that'll kind of guide you through the whole thing. So I think the the when it's actually election day is it August fourteenth. August 14th is the primary. You right. can start voting. Early voting starts on the 4th. I think that whole day, I'm just like every other song going to play. Is it Bill Ingvall? The did, here's your sign. Because they'll start yanking those things up. Well, I guess they won't yank them up until the, the real election in November, right? Yeah, supposedly like two days. or two. They have two weeks, but you know, we'll <laughs> see how that goes. <laughs> well, we'll be looking for the new paper, and thank you for coming by to uh, kind of kick us in the behind to get us going as well, Brian. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.